guys. I'm Michelle Wright with the CalvisBrewersCreativeCards.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today we're going to be making this adorable piano card. Do you love it? Oh my gosh. Forget your trebles. Mm. Using the music from my heart or music from the heart stamp set and I'm using this die and this die right here are from the new Stitch Sweetly dies. Stitch So Sweetly dies. Love them. Okay, so we can get those out of the way. And let's just get busy, shall we? Right off, you're going to want to grab the Scripty 3D embossing folder, all right? And as always, in the top in the eye and below in the description, I'm going to have all the supplies and all the measurements for this creation. So, no worries about writing anything down. Look, isn't that gorgeous? So, we I've already embossed that, okay? So, we're going to set that aside. That's the Scripty 3D embossing folder. Now, it's time to grab your Simply Score tool. And here is why. I've taken the bottom section here of the Whisper White. And I've taken the thick ball, and every half inch I'm scoring. And you'll see why this makes so much sense once I'm done. Now, now that I've done that, every half inch I've gone across. Now I'm going to bring in my black Stampin' Right marker, and you can actually purchase this black markers individually okay and i'm keeping this in the groove and if it makes you nervous you want to put a piece of scrap paper under it because you're afraid you're going to go off then by all means do that but then just follow that down okay follow it down because the groove is already there you following me And if you want to go slow and make sure your lines are absolutely not wiggly. But this puts the marker in the groove. And I'm going to go up. And then on this last one, let's just go down. So you ha see how I made my, my lines, all right? That's important. Don't worry if every little thing, because you're going to cover a lot of them up with your keys, remember. I'll have, the, if you don't have the Simply Score tool, mm, you need it. You need it. Now, that's going to be in the links as well. Let's go ahead and put our keys on, okay? I've got seven keys. I'm going to be using, let me get my silicone mat here gonna be using my Tombow for this because I want some wiggle room and I just started off I do not play the piano but I looked at some pictures of some pianos and I just started off over here to the side and you decide but you want to stay consistent once you get going so I'm going to do this and place these and then I'm gonna come back and snip the top. See how I'm leaving just a tiny little gap so the white shows through on each one? The important thing is making sure they match up down here. And they may, as you get across, they're not perfectly centered up, but this is a handmade card, right? So now you can see why with me putting the glue all the way across the back. If I go over, I'm not gonna be sticking to anything. So let me continue doing this, and then I'll show you how I trim them off. Okay, got them trimmed off so I can move that. Now, I'm gonna take just some old snips because this is actually, or some old shears. This is gonna, this top part is going to be underneath the ribbon, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But I'm, I don't want to get adhesive on my snips. I'll clean that off with some alcohol. So we've got that done. Now let's bring in back our little scripty 
And let's bring that scrap paper back over here. And we're going to bring in our Memento Tuxedo Black. And I'm going to take a dauber. And I just so, so lightly, so, so lightly. And I'm just going to just barely brush the edges of this. And you'll see it's just giving it a little definition is what I'm looking for. But I'm not going to just stop with the edges. And I'm not re-inking because I don't want it in your face dark. Okay? Just holding it firmly. All right. Now, I'm going to take this dauber without re-inking. And I'm just dragging it across the embossed words. Because it just makes them pop. You see how that's just popping up there? Don't you love it? I love it. All right, so we're done with that. So while we've got our ink out, let's go ahead and I die cut out a Whisper White. The piece that I want to stamp my piano on. And the beautiful thing about this is I can line it up on my grid paper and then I can see exactly where it's going. Because if I couldn't see, because this is photopolymer, if I couldn't see, I would probably stamp and then die cut. But because this is photopolymer, I could see exactly what I was doing. And if you wanted to, see that the lid of the piano, you could color that red. But I'm keeping this all black and white. Now let's grab the inside. And let's get the keys to the piano. Now make sure when you stamp this, see how you've got the black keys? So you want those up. I'm gonna stamp that right there. And on this one, I chose a different sentiment from the set that says, you're the music in my heart. Love it. All right, look how quick, quick. You thought it was gonna be complicated and it's not. So let's go ahead and put this card together. Now, my ribbon, I'm sure you're thinking, what's she going to do with that black? How did she get that black satin ribbon? That ribbon actually goes all the way around. And I left just a 1 8 inch border all the way around. So now this is going to make sense to you why if it hangs over the top when you cut your black keys, it's fine. Don't fail me now. So, if it's, then that gives you that little bit of wiggle room to kind of make sure that your borders are all the same. Let's push that down for a second. Now let's bring in the black satin ribbon. And I'm just gonna come all the way around and make sure I have plenty of ribbon. I don't want to not have enough, so let's be safer than sorry. And I want to make sure that I have it flat in the back, which I do. All right, so let me get that up here where you can see. We're gonna grab our tweezers, self-kept closing tweezers, and I just went over the top. Okay, and I want to go up and down with my, and I gave myself plenty of ribbon. Now let's get a hold of that knot. And then let's bring this, this one from the top back over and push it through. Then that's gonna make our knot by me pulling with the left. Okay, pulling the left. See how that made my knot nice? And I can give it a nice little snug to tighten it up. And I've got plenty of room to wiggle it and move it because it goes through and through, see? I love this card, it's so pretty. But I don't want it moving around on me. So let's take and do our ends. You know I love my ends to be cut at an angle. 
let's make sure it doesn't move around. And we're just gonna grab a glue dot. And I'm gonna put it right here under that. Now it's not gonna shift on me, okay? We need to put this straight down on top of the black die cut. See how they're stitched? Oh, love these new dies. Gonna pop them up and I'm going to go here and here and then I'm also gonna put one in the middle which will also help secure that ribbon from moving around. So I've kind of double, double taken care of my ribbon from moving. Take your pick tool, oops, that one didn't want to come off, but all the rest of them are good. Pick that edge of that ribbon up, just come over a little bit, just kind of lining it up, it's closer to the top now. I'll even go a little higher, but I want it to be good and straight. Let's put the inside down. What do you think? Oh, I love, love this card. And I used the Music from the Heart stamp set and the Stitched So Sweetly Dies. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you live in the United States and you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. As always, I've listed two more videos at the end of this one that I think you may enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.